Hi, this is Claire Cook. One of the things I've learned is to let my novels take shape during the first draft, or the discovery draft, and to continue to stay open during all stages of revision. Believe it or not, I had no idea there were going to be dogs in my second novel, Must Love Dogs. The title came from a line in a personal ad, Must Love Dogs and Starlit Nights, and shortly after coming up with the title, the first of several dogs galloped in, and I'm so glad I let them. I started writing Life's a Beach on the set of the Must Love Dogs movie. Originally, I thought the movie subplot in Life's a Beach would take place in Hollywood, but when I moved the movie to Cape Cod, the whole book came alive. I was in my world again, and I knew how people would behave if a movie came to their town. Suddenly, we'd all know we were going to be discovered, and it's about time. And if not us, then our kids, because they are so way cuter than those kids next door. As soon as I had the setting, the book started getting beachier and beachier. Glass blowing, sea glass jewelry making. I just went with it. I came up with the idea for Summer Blowout when I was sitting in the chair at my hair salon one day, wondering what I was going to write about next, and I just started watching the hairstylists and the way they interacted with each other, and how they were almost like a family. Then I started wondering what it would be like to be a part of that world, and then I thought, what if there was a small chain of family-owned hair salons, and what if all the siblings and half-siblings and the father's ex-wives all worked there? More what-ifs followed, both my own ideas and some great suggestions from other people, and before I knew it, I was up to my eyebrows in hair and makeup and having a blast, and my new novel, Summer Blowout, was born. Um, Robert Frost said, uh, no surprise for the writer, no surprise for the reader. I don't know if that's true, but that's my justification whenever someone says, you don't outline. Um, for me, in my personal experience, the parts of my books that I did not plan often turn out to be the best parts. If I did not stay open to those surprises, I don't think I think my books would have missed something. Um, when you're you're writing or you you're driving or you're at the elliptical machine at the gym or you're in the shower and suddenly you get this idea. That's the thing you listen to. And um, I'm sure there are, in some part of my brain, I'm kind of sort of outlining, but I'm not admitting it to myself because I want to be open to that. And I've talked to people who outline and say, of course you have to outline, blah, 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 blah. And then they've admitted a couple sentences later that they get to page um, 100 and they're out of outline and then they have to wing it from there. So, you know, maybe it's all the same. So, here's the thing. There's no one way to write a book. If you want to outline, then by all means outline. But if that's not working for you, you might want to try just feeling your way through it for a while. And maybe you'll find that the surprises become the best part of your book, too. Keep writing, and don't forget to check out my Aspiring Writers page at ClaireCook.com, too.